Bullish, for the last two months, I've been working super hard on creating some of the best abandoned videos out. A flu shot. <laughs> Cheers to being healthy. Yes. Norway, heaven. A bomb was dropping on Norway. I literally, literally said my prayers. <sighs> so we wake up this morning, and I just felt this amazing temperature on the outside, and it really feels like uh, United States East Coast October, which is my favorite weather, by the way. This is the perfect weather. But as soon as it gets like dark, it's freaking cold. Anyways. Did you know that Norwegians actually told the Japanese about salmon sushi? And they say that Norwegians make the, ba the best salmon, like this is the best salmon. So I gotta try that. And we're going to Loffington today, we're taking a ferry. Now mind you, I don't even know what we're doing in Loffington. Our goal was just to get there. We gotta wing this out, this is like Walter Mitty right now. So here's the freaking line for the bus, but we don't know what's going on now because they said it's closed, so we might have to take a later one or something. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, I think this is where we get our tickets. did it. So we're, we're in. The, bu the boat is not leaving us. No, it's not. Yay. Yes. <laughs> yes. We were like, we didn't know what to do. So now yeah. if you guys ever come here, just make sure you come here at 9 because the boat leaves at 11 and it could fill up and then you're stuck and you can't even aboard it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this is our home for the next three hours. The view though. Full speed man, just throw it in. I've never seen so many people with cameras. Seriously, everyone even has the camera I'm using right now, taking pictures. Got some good food on this boat. What'd you get? I got myself a nice bacon hot dog for breakfast. For breakfast? Yeah. And they look good. Everyone's be eating these things here. I'm gonna have to try one. Also, I see something with salmon over there. I might get that. So two of the main things to eat here in Norway is, is like these cinnamon looking buns. What's the proper name for it? I'd have to look it up. I don't know. It, change, it changes based on the store you're in and like how big it is. So oh. I have, I'd have to look it up. <laughs> I also have salmon, and that's a huge thing to eat here. So first, I usually don't feel myself eating that much, but unless it's like traditional or something that everyone eats here in the culture. Here we go. All right, so it's a great cinnamon bun, but over here they're like worshipped. Dude. If you could open it. <laughs> <laughs> no one's seen that. <laughs> Yo! Now on the upper layer. The upper level deck. This is the windy front, though. Yes, yeah, the front of the boat. It's a little windy. This is my first time ever seeing any kind of view like this. And I've been traveling for three years, so this is, this is pretty interesting. Something new. This is crazy. It looks fake. Tourism right now is probably at an all-time peak. We're gonna be going at around midnight to 3 a.m. So we're hoping to cut out some of the crowds, but I'm guessing we're gonna see like at least 20 photographers there probably at 1 a.m. Yeah. We can edit them out though. <laughs> we can Photoshop. Photoshop. Land ho boys. Getting back in the car now. It's time to start the adventure. I think the road trip technically starts here, like it now. It does. Alright. The first day was insane. Second day, eh, we're getting there. Now it's like we're there. A lot of work. It's a lot of work. So before I show you the most sickest view I've ever seen in probably my entire life, I just want to talk about the hikes we're going to be doing. So because it doesn't get dark till like literally 
All right, and by dark, I mean dusk. I mean a, a slight dusk. It doesn't happen until midnight or even 1 a.m. and it only lasts for two hours. That's like 3 a.m. or 3.30 a.m. Because of that, all of our hikes are gonna be done within that time because we need to show the sunset, that little sunset, that little bit of color we're gonna get is gonna be the game changer for all of our pictures compared to everyone else's pictures on the internet. So we have to put in all this work to do that. But it's also great because I stay up all night playing video games at my house that I can actually stay up all night now and it never gets dark. Why am I saying all night? It doesn't get dark. So it's gonna just be a slightness. So that means I can wake up anytime I want and always come out and film. It doesn't get dark. Perfect vlogs right here. I don't even like filming at night. Okay, here it is. We're in the fishing village called Humnoi. So make sure if you're gonna cross that boat to come here from Bodo, you go to Humnoi because this is sick. Look at this. I mean, seriously, it does not get any better than this. Wow, you know what? Every problem I have is gone here, seriously. It was only just yesterday. I wasn't sure if I wanted to come on this trip and I wasn't even sure how long I was gonna stay. But now that I'm actually here, I wanna stay forever. Excuse me, guys. Do you happen to know where the trailhead is to uh, Rainebringen? The trail is it back that way? Before the tunnel. Before the tunnel, you have to go by foot on the right side. Okay. There is a walkway, and then you find a small signal in in the foot. Okay. Yeah, and there is a uh, the track. Okay, so it's before this tunnel. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I mean, you got Ryan A. Bringen, supposed to be the best hike to do here, and all Lofoten, but then just right under it, you got this. Look at the reflection. So apparently to do Ryan A. Bringen, you gotta park at this random spot right here, and you gotta walk down to the tunnel, and that's where it's gonna start. Right there. Like I said, it's supposed to be the best hike here. Everyone does it, it's the number one hike, and that's how we're starting this video, and that's how we're starting our Norway trip. Waters. We're taking you down! Got my mom with the drone backpack on. The English version right here. It's steep and slippery with great danger of landslides. What do you think? <laughs> That's, I wish you hadn't read that. That's nothing. <laughs> Did you see that explorers? We are risking our lives right now. I need you to smash that like button because we are doing this for you. <laughs> That's just what all the YouTubers do nowadays, is say that. Smash it! Smash I didn't know it! If that like button does See, dude, anything, that was such it. dude, that was such a proper like YouTuber um thing right there to do is just that whole line. Does it actually start here? I think it does. Jeez. We just have to kind of walk around this barricade. That's a weird way to start. <laughs> that is a weird way to start. Your face, you're just like, what? You can always turn back now. <laughs> what the frick am I gonna do? <laughs> I admit, this is actually, this is, this does look uh, steep and slippery, just like the sign. It really don't. 
Yo, this is a workout, but damn, I'm already feeling it, bro. I don't know if my mom could have done this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think so, to be honest, either. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> My backpack's swinging me all over. Yeah. Note to self, you will get wet here. Watch Cody's video if you want to see what I did to not get wet here. <laughs> da, da, da. Pretty entertaining. <sighs> so we're about to be up. About to be up. <sighs> That's all I'm going to say. Any more oxygen? Did I speak out? I might pass out. This is definitely really hard and you have to be in, you gotta be in good shape, you gotta be, cause this, this is unbelievable. I did not, I did not expect this. I'm trying to find the best place to take this picture. There's a tons of different angles we can get, but I want the best angle. Um, so we're gonna set up a tent over there and take our picture over, over there with these people. But also, here, it could be even better. I don't, I don't really know. It's hard to say. Mind you, I think it's midnight right now. What time is it? Well, it's almost midnight. It's 11.10, so. But it doesn't feel like midnight. Okay, that was hard, but we did it. It took, uh, it probably took 30 minutes, I think. Oh, but, yeah, but you know, we did it. This is our first of many tents here in Norway that we set up. Boom. I'm super tired. We did everything we had to do. Cody's filming. We're gonna go back down now. It's super steep. I'm not even looking forward to it. All my energy, my body is drained and I wanna go to bed. Um, but you know, we did this and this is probably the best hike of this trip, but I don't know, things could happen. It's all random here in Norway. <coughs> but tomorrow we are gonna do a Viking museum and we're gonna see a soccer field that's located on like some island it's like isolated it actually is even though it's a soccer field it's a cool soccer field you'll pretty, see. it's like directly behind you too yeah you'll, like way out there well it's somewhere down there yeah and we're gonna get the, we have the drone shots it's gonna be so cool to see it so you got to stay tuned to tomorrow subscribe to Cody and then yeah just get just get out there and explore and thanks for watching I'm going to bed and I'm gonna make sure I get down there safe and sound